Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Fort Lauderdale High takes on Deerfield Beach High tonight on School Duel. to School Duel, where close to 60 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties competed to be part of the show. The top 20 schools made it to the televised rounds, where they will battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And of course, the winner gets to walk away with the school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. And continuing this season, each team advancing to the semifinals qualifies for the National Academic Championship. Details on this competition are found at QUnlimited.com. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches Deerfield Beach High versus Fort Lauderdale High in what is going to be quite a showdown. Now the winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. All right. But of course there's more. During the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Amazing, right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our first round is called the warning shot. This is where schools will go against each other and they'll be competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. All of the questions are worth 10 points and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school will have the chance to steal the points. All right, schools, prepare for the warning shot. Here we go. We're gonna start with car repairs. Many mechanics, car dealers, and quick lube shops recommend changing this fluid every 3,000. Alexa? Oil. Correct, good job. Next question deals with depictions. The painting, Lady Macbeth, and the painting, Hamlet Sees His Father's Ghost, all depict scenes from plays written by what British? Valerie? William Shakespeare. That's what we're looking for. Awesome. All right, moving on to tragedies. Big band leader, Glenn Miller, 1950s rock singer, Buddy Holly, and pilot, Amelia Earhart, all died after what, Lily? Plane crash. Correct. All right, spelling. Meaning the time period between the beginning of puberty and adulthood, how do you spell adolescence? Risha. A-D-O-L-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Say it one more time. A-D-O-L-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Correct, good job, Risha. All right, moving along to migration. What led to California's population increasing by about, yes, Valerie? Gold rush. Correct, that was in 1849. All right, literary terms. What is a literary term referring to how a person, situation, statement, or circumstance is not as it would actually seem? Yes, Angelica. Ironic. Correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question, brought to you by Broward County School Centennial Anniversary. Now, this is where our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone, shown a picture, and that picture will slowly reveal itself. The first school to buzz in and answer correctly will, of course, get the points. So let's go. Born on December 11, 1943, he graduated from Yale and served in the Navy during the Vietnam War. He would eventually become a senator. Yes, Lily? John Kerry. That's exactly who we're looking for. Good job. And John Kerry earned several military honors during the Vietnam War, including the Silver Star, Bronze Star, and three Purple Hearts. Amazing. All right, moving along to novels. What Herman Melville novel is subtitled The Whale? Richa? Moby Dick. Correct. All right, moving on to birds. Martha, the last specimen of this bird's passenger species, died in 19, yes, Lily? Pigeon. Yes, good job. All right, injuries. So it can be a result of touching ice or freezing metal. It's most often a result of being, Richa? Frostbite. Yes, good job. 
All right, hormones. Testosterone and estrogen are among what group of hormones that Olympic athletes must avoid? Valerie. Um, it's... <sighs> All right, Darefield, anyone? Day? Reproductive. Incorrect. We're looking for steroids. Athletes must avoid steroids. All right, tools. The earliest documented use of this tool was in Europe during the Middle Ages. Name this common tool whose major types are flathead and Phillips. Richa. Screwdriver. Correct. Yeah. Moving on. Literary characters. He kept the shag tobacco for his pipe in the toe of a Persian slipper. Name this British literary. Yes, Angelica? Sherlock Holmes. Yes, good job. Yeah. All right, religion. The Mormons believe it to be the word of God as far as it is translated correctly. Name this book that is scripture. Yes, Alexa? The Book of Mormon. Incorrect. Deerfield Beach, name this book that is scripture to Christians and contains both an Old Testament and a New Testament. Akash. The Holy Bible. Correct. Oh, there's our horn, and that means the end of the warning shot round. We do have a close game, but Fort Lauderdale is leading. They have 80 points. Deerfield has 50 points. But we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Thanks for joining us and welcome back to School Duel. Our first round of action ended with Fort Lauderdale leading over Deerfield Beach. The current score is 80 to 50. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Now, let's go ahead and start with the Fort Lauderdale Flying L's. Welcome. <laughs> We're going to start off with Angelica, who's a senior. And Angelica, the question of today's show is, is there a teacher who made a nice impression in your life that you'd like to give a shout out to? Well, obviously, Mr. LaRosa, because he's the one who brought us here. So without him, we wouldn't be here. Oh, awesome. Well, thanks to him. And next to you, we have Valerie, who's a senior. Same question. Um, I love Mr. LaRosa. He's great. But I'm going to give a shout out to my, um, uh, my English teacher, Dr. Boyer. He's great. So. Awesome. All right, Alexa, you're a senior. Tell us who you're going to give a shout out to. Um, my former history teacher and former photography teacher, Mr. Treadwell. All right. Sounds good. And Lily is the captain of Fort Lauderdale's team. You're a senior. And who would you like to shout out? Uh, my yearbook instructor, Ms. Berg. Ms. Berg, there's a nice shout-out for you. All right, nice to meet you all, and let's meet your competitors. They are the Deerfield Beach Bucks. Welcome. <laughs> all right, we have Akash, who's a senior. Same question to you. Which teacher would you like to give a shout-out to? I would to? give a shout-out to Ms. Cuevas, my current English teacher. All right, very nice. And Richa, you're right next to Akash, and you're a senior. The floor is yours. Uh, my former uh, world history teacher and current NHS sponsor, Ms. Corbin. Sounds good. And we have Erin, who's a senior. Who's the shout out going to? Um, I would like to sh shout out my contemporary history teacher, Mr. James Fireyed Scales. All right, sounds good. And last but not least, we have the captain of Deerfield Beach's team. His name is Day, and he's a senior. Go ahead, tell us your shout out. I'd like to shout out Mr. Desmond, who watches the show every year. He does? Yeah. 
Thanks. All right, big shout out. How you like that? Thank you. All right, big round of applause for both of our teams. <laughs> And big shout out to everyone who's in the education profession. We appreciate you every day. All right, now that we know everyone here today, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust. Here one player from each school competes head to head with a 10 point toss up question. The player that wins and gets three bonus questions for their school and those questions are worth five, then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, it's time to joust. <laughs> Lily, Day, come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. The letters I and J, when put together, are considered a single letter in this language whose vocabulary occupies a sort of middle ground between German and English. Name this European language which is spoken in the Netherlands. Yes, Lily? Dutch. Correct. Good job. All right, we're with Fort Lauderdale. And the following bonus questions all deal with languages. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Name the Romance language that is spoken in Angola, Cape Verde, and Brazil, but is best known for being the official, yes, Angelica? Portuguese. Very good. Your second bonus question is worth 10 points. Which continent contains languages that includes a click sound that is pronounced at the same time as other sounds and represents, yes, Lily? Africa. Correct, good job. And your third bonus question is worth 15 points. Which country has the largest number of Spanish native speakers? Valerie. Mexico. Correct. Good job. All right, Alexa and Aaron, come on down. Here's your topic question. It's worth 10 points. This novel, set in the 1930s, begins, when he was nearly 13, my brother Jem got his arm badly broken at the elbow. Name this American historical fiction novel by Harper Lee. Yes, Aaron. To Kill a Mockingbird. Correct. Awesome. Now we're with Deerfield. The following bonus questions all deal with an American historical fiction. So bonus question number one, five points. Set in the early 1900s in New York, this classical novel can be described as a mysterious American millionaire trying to recapture the sweetheart, Aaron. The Great Gatsby. Yes. All right, here's your second bonus question. This one's worth 10 points. The novel, The Fifth of March, is a story based on this 1770 historical incident that is also known as the Incident on King Street. Risha. The Boston Massacre. Correct, good job. Here's your third bonus question. 15 points on the table for this one. In 1850, the Scarlet Letter made him famous. Name this, Richa? Nathaniel Hawthorne. Correct, good job. All right, Richa and Valerie, come on down. It is your turn to joust. All right, here's your toss of question. Worth 10 points. What kind of mammals are necessary in order for matadors to practice their craft? Yes, Valerie. Bulls. Yes. Fort Lauderdale, the following bonus questions all deal with sports history. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Complete this quote by baseball player and manager Yogi Berra. The game isn't over till it's... Valerie? Over? Yes. <laughs> Here's your second bonus question. Ten points. Athletes from which country always lead the procession in the opening? Yes, Lily? Greece. Correct. And your third bonus question, 15 points. Name the North Dakota man who in 1961 broke Babe Ruth's unbreakable record. All right, we're looking for Roger Maris. Okay, Angelica Akash, come on down. Here's your top question, we're at 10 points. This is the 20th state to become a member of the US. Identify this state named for the father of waters and spelled with four S's. Yes, Angelica. Mississippi. Correct. Good job. For Lauderdale, the following bonus questions all deal with states. Your first one is worth five points. Identify the only U.S. state whose name is just one syllable. Alexa. Maine. Yes. There's a second bonus question. This one's ten points. Identify the only letter that does not occur in any of the U.S. states' names. Yes, Angelica. Z. Incorrect. We're looking for Q. Bonus question number three is worth 15 points. Channel Islands National Park and Joshua Tree National Park are part of what state? Angelica? Florida? Incorrect. California. That's what we're looking for. And there's the horn, and it means the end to the joust. Fort Lauderdale still leading. They have 160 points. Deerfield now has 90 points. But of course, we'll be right back. We just have a few messages.
Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. We love Magnet Program! From elementary to high school, Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs provide extra opportunities and experiences for students in specific fields of study. International Baccalaureate, Military Academy, Montessori, Performance and Visual Arts, Sciences, and many others. The programs are free. Shop early for your child's education. Apply online today at BrowardSchools.com. Broward County Public Schools Magnet Programs. Missing school? You're missing out. Regular attendance equals education, and education equals success. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now, this second round match has Fort Lauderdale High competing against Deerfield Beach, and Fort Lauderdale High is currently leading. They have 160 points, Deerfield has 90 points. We're now ready for the rapid fire round. During this round, the teams will receive a category of questions to answer within 60 seconds. Each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school will have the opportunity to steal the point. Now, since Deerfield is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category. Today's choices are starts with H or starts with T. So which category would you like, Deerfield? We'd like to take starts with H. All right, it's all yours. Prepare schools for the rapid fire round. Deerfield Beach. In your category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter H. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions that are worth 10 points each. So cue music and let's begin. The noise you make when you want to sing but you don't know the words. Hum. A very small mountain. Hill. Milwaukee Company, famed for its motorcycles. Harley Davidson. Classic TV show with Fonzie. Happy days. A polygon with seven sides. Hexagon. A metal object covering the lug nuts of a car's wheel. Hubcap. General of ancient Carthage whose elephants defeated the Romans. Hannibal. Capital of Vietnam. 1991 Spielberg film about Peter Pan. Hook. Medical condition caused by lack of blood clotting factor. Ophelia. All right, we got through all your questions. You missed two questions. So, Fort Lauderdale, they're yours now. A polygon with seven sides. Valerie? Heptagon. Okay, and what's the capital of Vietnam? Lily? Ho Chi Minh City. Incorrect, we're, we're looking for Hanoi. All right, but now we're with Fort Lauderdale. Their category is, starts with T. Fort Lauderdale, in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter T. Remember, you will have 60 seconds to answer these questions that are worth 10 points each, so let's cue music and begin. Bluefin and albacore are types of what fish? Tuna. Its top players include Roger Federer and Serena Williams. Tennis. Who was the Norse god of thunder? Thor. Historical region considered the home of Dracula. Transylvania. The Blue Jays and Maple Leafs played? Toronto. Full name of the infectious disease TB? Tuberculosis. This airplane instrument tells you how fast the engine is spinning. Turbine. Fifth root of 32. Two. Which magazine publishes a person of the year issue? Time. SN is a chemical symbol for what element? Tin. All right, good job, Fort Lauderdale. You only missed one question, we got through everything. So let's get down to it. Darefield, do you know this airplane instrument tells you how fast the engine is spinning? Nope. It's a tachometer, all right? And that means it's the end to the rapid fire round. We do have Fort Lauderdale still leading. Current score is now 260 to Deerfield's 170. Let's go ahead and take a short break and then we'll be back for the final showdown.
Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. for joining us here at School Duel. We've got a good second round match going as Fort Lauderdale High is clinging to its lead over Deerfield Beach High. Now the current score is 260 to 170. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. The schools will now go against each other with toss-up questions, but now these questions are worth 20 points each. Remember, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with acquisitions. Acquired by Facebook in 2012, what online and mobile service allows you to upload, Aaron? Instagram. Finish this line. Finish this line from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. A plague on both your? Valerie. Houses. The Oscars. She received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2014, less than three years after winning her third Oscar for portraying former British Prime Minister Margaret. Yes, Lily? Meryl Streep. U.S. History. In 1777, George Washington prepared his troops to spend the winter at what famed Pennsylvania location? That's Valley Forge. Painters. This painter epitomized the Renaissance humanistic ideal. Name this Italian who painted the Mona Lisa and the last Alexa. Leonardo da Vinci. Brand. It became a symbol of World War II for its ability to let soldiers go almost anywhere and do almost anything. Name this specific brand of automobile, now made by Chrysler, whose current models include Lily. Jeep. Books. Henry David Thoreau's most famous book is named for what Massachusetts pond on whose shores he built himself a house? Yes, Akash? Walden. Elements. The sun in the sky is about 70% hydrogen ions and 28% ions of what second? Yes, Aaron? Helium. History. Sarah Good, Martha Corey, Bridget Bishop, and John Proctor were among those accused. Yes, Valerie? Witchcraft. Uh, incorrect, Deerfield Beach. They were among those accused by others in 1692 of consorting with the devil and then convicted and hanged during what infamous episode? Yes, Aaron? Salem Witch Trials? Yes. Presidents. This man was Lincoln's second vice president and then became the 17th president after Lincoln. Yes, Richa? Buchanan. Incorrect, Fort Lauderdale. He became the 17th president after Lincoln's assassination. Lily. Andrew Johnson. All right, states. Which state forms the southern border of Arkansas? Uh, judges? Okay, Aaron, we'll let you answer. Louisiana? Yes. Movies. Which Pixar movie spawned the Randy Newman hit song, You've Got a Friend in Me, Richa? Toy Story. Greek plays. The most famous play by the ancient Greek Sophocles is about Valerie? The Odyssey. Incorrect. Deerfield Beach? The most famous play by the ancient Greek Sophocles is about what man who accidentally kills his father and marries his mother? Yes, Richa. Oedipus. Yes. Acting. What actor is now said to have made $75 million by playing Iron Man on film? Valerie. Robert Downey Jr. 
structures. In 1961, construction began on what structure that separated the east and west areas of its namesake? Yes, Aaron. On the Berlin Wall. Multiple meanings. What musical term that means very fast also means to a magician the trick? Richa? Forte. Incorrect. Fort Lauderdale, it also means to a magician the trick is over. Presto is what we were looking for. U.S. history. Though more than 12 million immigrants did enter the U.S. at this location between 1892 and 1924. Richa? Ellis Island. All right, golf. He, oh, the buzzer just cut me off. to their lead throughout the entire game. They are ending the game with 380 points. Deerfield Beach is ending with 350 points. Fort Lauderdale, this win is putting you into the quarterfinals. So congratulations. <laughs> and of course, congratulations to everyone here today. Now this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Lily. <laughs> sandwiches for an entire year and at this time we'd like to thank you at home for watching and thanks to our sponsors for making school duel possible now don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out even more about all the schools involved this year as well as vote on who you thought was the player of the week for today's game but most importantly make sure that you tune in next week to school duel thursday at 7 p.m as cypress bay high takes on monarch high in this next second round match goodbye everyone School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Make sure you download the School Duel app on your smartphone so you can keep up to date with everything School Duel right at your fingertips. The School Duel app is available right now for all iPhone and Android users.